Christmas! Hello everyone. Land Rover Photo Albums allowed me, Santa, to host this video just because of a little bit of a breakdown that I had. <laughs> Land Rover Photo Album wants me to point out that there was microphone issues when he filmed me. Hello! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Hey, it's Santa! Yeah, I'm being one. The sleigh's packed up! Yeah! No! Yeah! No! Yeah! North Wales! Yeah! Find the coast! That's right, the place sounds in Hopkins zone. Yeah, right. I'll be there in a minute. A few moments later. Hey! Ho, ho, ho. Is that my friend Adams? The white wheels are uh, What follows now is an original, sort of a bit, original script from 2000, early 2019. This changed because the, the Range Rover feature and the Discovery feature decided to be part of it. Sort of, like the MCU, the Marvel Universe, you know how everything interlinks. So, what you're going to see now is not indicative of any final edit, and the audio is rough, it was rough cut, it was just the intro, a rough intro, of the original All New Defender feature, which is no longer. The reason I'm showing it is because it's amusing, I suppose, and it shows, it shows a lot of flaws. It's a bit of fun, so there's some bloopers in it. There's initial ideas there that I suppose are fairly viable, but they're out the window now. And it's not snappy because it's the rough cut. The audio is rough, everything's rough. It's not indicative of anything that comes next. Comes in the future. Right, everyone, this is it. The time has come. Hey, everyone. Right, I'm gonna carry on from where I left off, that cliffhanger from the other film the defending Land Rover film. I've had to jump back into an OG 90 for this. You see, I was all caught up at the time. I was all a bit nervous and starstruck and blown away by the vehicle. And I've had time to reflect since. Right now it's five in the morning and I'm going to Peterborough Land Rover show. See, before I start showing you, right, I spent time with the new Defender. But the reason I didn't post that straight away is because I wanted to see what everybody else was doing. But there's a few things I have to address. To do that, I need to be out in this. So I know, so I can feel a totally honest opinion. I've seen other people walk around the Defender now. And as far as I can tell, all the reviewers have been in the woods with it and just talked about it. I can't believe it is finally here. They're not allowed to drive it, prototype, that type of thing. So, so really, uh, I thought, I'll wait until I see what they do because I don't want to do the same. Because if I'm honest, I did the same thing. Only I'm not a professional. The Range Rover Sport Mark One. Or L3, ah, forgotten. If 70% of all Land Rovers still remain on the road, all Land Rovers like this and series Land Rovers, then who are they going? No, I'm not trying to fob you off. I thought that was a mint somehow. That annoying. Ow! 
Slam my wallet. Look, there's a dead body there. Not murdered, just dead. I'm going back down to... Take two. Why would you have a seven-seat station wagon when you can have a Range Rover? Uh, when, why would you have... <laughs> Other than that, it's like driving a tent. A tent with loads of snow on them. Hello. Damn. Batteries just got better. All right. Get out of it, you bugger. Oh, I'll be honest further. I have worked in camera and editing and stuff like that on the scene, but I'm not a professional presenter. Because I know how the sausage is made, I know full well how something is meant to be done in terms of presenting, which is fine. If I was directing and I had a presenter here, I'd be asking certain amounts for him for certain things. Because I'm not a professional presenter, I wing it. And my honest enthusiasm is all that paves my way. I'm really into what I do. And I love Land Rovers. So I just, I pretend you're just like an individual sitting next to me and just, I'm just nattering. I can't remember lines because I'm too carried away with the event. The event of presenting and acting and all those things I'm on the scene is a big deal. And I go, woohoo, and I get all carried away. And it's all great, very exciting for someone like me. It's not like a, I'm working for some magazine and TV programme where this will be the 50th or 60th one of these I've been to in the last couple of years. It's my first and only ever preview. It's not called an event, it's called a preview. And they, you get your phone, and you have to put your phone in this bag that says Jack, your Land Rover on it. My phone came sealed in that bagger and I've just opened it. That's what they use to stop you taking pictures. But you can still use your phone. So don't take it off you. So I wrote all my notes on my phone, but obviously the plastic obscures the camera. Like when I saw the car, I was like, yes, wow, woo, and I just wanted to play with it. I didn't want to talk about stuff. By the time it was my turn to go to camera, I had everybody watching me. Heads of Land Rover, producers from Top Gear, Auto Car, Auto Express Magazine, what car, they were all there. And they were all watching me, and I was the last one. And everybody was waiting for me to finish so they could go. I kept stumbling and fumbling. They've also done, um, uh, shoot, I'll edit that later. I, I can tell, what can I tell you? Fair, oh, where was I now? Sorry. What we, um, yeah. Uh. We're given the spiel about the car in terms of stats and whatnot. Well, before they actually showed us in the metal. And unfortunately, I was so jazzed about the machine. I just kept losing the plot. I was a madman! We just all of us were just going through the motions since we couldn't drive it. But I've recently been out in a Disco 5 and Range Rover. Tonight. Jimmy. Let's see what it's like, shall we? Hope I don't break your car, Adam. I can pay you back for it. Five pounds a month. <laughs> Copyright strike. Here we go, traction. Remember the Discovery did this, Discovery Sport. And I've got a feeling, my common sense kicks in and just says, yep, the new Defender is gonna be better than this off-road and on the road, that's for sure. Just put it this way, did six weeks in this, and have great fun. I hop back in my Disco to drive down south, I was like driving a Rolls Royce and then I went off-road and billing in my disco as well and it was doing, in fact it was like making less a meal off-road with road tyres on than 110s were. Yeah, it's not
that might be because of my driving too and the traction control for sure it's the whole vehicle the whole thing sure because there's other people doing the same thing in freelancers slightly modded freelanders at that but still and it occurred to me that whilst these are great fun and they've got the retro box works down they're not going to be able to be better than the new one right out of the showroom no chance and that's the other thing I don't see Land Rover as a corporate entity see I know what it's like from being being the audience being the consumer we think Apple Land Rover Samsung all that type of stuff we see them as big corporate entities faceless and the fact is that's just not the case maybe shareholders don't know certain things and they want a certain amount of money per quarter or per whatever but the designers and the engineers and stuff they're Land Rover fans they are so here's me making a fool of myself in Gaydon I'm going to get my food first for my journey Sorry, that's that should turn off notifications. I've posted about a G wagon. O M G wagon. And uh, Facebook, and Instagram's gone a bit. No, 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 no. Anyway, enough about that. Let me get some food. How about that. See, sexy parking. Back in a minute. evil stuff. I mean, I love twiglets, but because they're so Moorish, you kill the roof of your mouth. Right, it's time to go. Santa's the big helper. Hello! Because my sleigh doesn't have reversing cameras. So I use my eyes. I need to have it long enough to start using the cameras. Right. Let's go! Right now we're in Warwick. I've just come from my friend's boat. I'm on my way to Jaguar Land Rover Classic Works. So basically, my full-time job is the Green Giant. Ho, ho, ho. Because it's seasonal, I do this at Christmas. People think it's the other way around. It's a chicken and egg thing. Oh, lovely wipers, I like smooth wipers. Anyway, now we've come to the end of the year. And what a year it's been. It's been quite the tumultuous, tumultuous? There we go. A wicked year and not in the good sense it's been very very quirky I went to Italy in a series one it's quite awkward getting fuel there on occasion so it cost 240 quid just to get about 40 pounds worth of fuel and got out just before lockdown kicked in and then things just went honk really bad but now it's Christmas I want to do a quick video My beard's getting in my mouth. Christmas is mostly superb for the majority of people in the West. But for others, Christmas can be an utter nightmare. So if you've got friends, you haven't heard from a while, you haven't seen them on your Facebook feed, or you just generally, you know, give them a ring send them a message you probably find it makes a world of difference okay we'll stop that bit just there there's people watching right now and I know that some of you are probably feeling despair anxious lonely bring someone Samaritans mind friend messenger whatsapp just anyone on that list just ring someone message them you'll probably find that that bit of despair and horribleness won't last. 
It's easy for me to say, and the, the hardest bit is doing that first move. It sounds bloody cliche, but I've been here, so give it a go. And you who are fine, give a friend a ring. You've got five minutes, because I know it's a busy day. Ho, ho, ho. And here we are. Ho, ho, ho. Right. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing, but it, I am Santa, so therefore, <laughs> therefore I can go anywhere and do anything, just like that. me prototype number seven hey we got here this is Jaguar classic works this is everything this is like Christmas it's like Christmas to Land Rover fans yeah there's been some rain Flappy mode and some more rain. But I have seen some pretty good vehicles. Although this is classic works, there's bound to be good vehicles. That's all that's here actually. Iconic, legendary, famous, great, good vehicles. I wanted to take the E-type out, but the E-type wipers are packed up. It's very E-type on to do that. What a brilliant place to finish the year. There's pretty much everything here for me. So 2020 might have started a bit flat, but it's absolutely finishing with a bang. The stuff that's here, it's incredible. What better way to end the narrative at Classic Works? Home to, well, some of the most prestigious Land Rovers in the world. And what can I say? It's been a very, very strange year. So, so strange. Content was stifled. Things might have missed. Didn't manage to make it to America. But, it's the 16th of December. I, it's the 16th of December and, well, it's a nice place to finish the year. I wanna thank Rybook Land Rover and Land Rover UKPR for helping me and bring me along here. I hope you all have a brilliant new year. I hope 2021 is nowhere near a disaster that 2020 was. I hope the lurgy eases off. I hope that we all just, I don't know, I hope it just gets better. And there's a lot to do and it's all trial and error. It's here to stay for a bit. So let's just, uh, let's just enjoy 2021 and forget the disaster that was 2020. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you all soon.